Um, this week, we're going to talk about water resistance. All right. And the uh, water resistancy, if you will, is very important in a lot of different environments. So uh, even take, uh, you know, take outside plants, all right? Um, your PEDs need labeling. That cable that is running through the conduit systems, chances are it's gonna get wet. Uh, you're gonna need to label that. Let's say it's an electrical panel outside uh, that's gonna get wet. Uh, solar. If you're doing any solar, and yes, we do solar labeling, uh, that solar is going to get wet. Um, hum humid environments. It, again, there's condensation involved there, and you need a label that's going to withstand uh, the water there. So as the, the folks that have been watching religiously, thousands of you, this has been here, and, I, and I'm not saying from a legal standpoint, don't put this on the propeller of your boat and think that it's going to last this long. But th this has been in here for 29, maybe 30 weeks, something like that. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a flag label. I've got a cable wrap. And uh, man, they're still going strong. And uh, it, what I did uh, over the course of uh, my PTO, because I had nothing better to do, um, is I, I played with my machine a lot, quite a bit. And then... Uh, I put some labels in here. You know, one of the things in legal, legal, are you out there? All right, uh, HR. Uh, so they didn't want me to put live fish in there. So what I did is I, I went ahead and I took them out this morning and, and they're sitting over there. But nonetheless is that I did this a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, all of these labels are on the inside, all right? And one of my minds just let go. So that could be a good omen. but. Uh, you can see those labels, they're still very legible, all right? And they've been soaking in there now for two and a half weeks, something like that. So uh, I want to thank our prop department, uh, me, for coming up with this. But uh, anyway, it's a nice little demonstration of uh, the resiliency that we have to water. Uh, with that being said, what I did uh, the other day is I took the old GoPro out and I thought, what can I do to really test these things? I, I think at, at the end of the, uh, the segment, uh, what you're going to see here, um, I'm a true believer. And, and I've seen a lot of this stuff and I've, I've done a lot of this stuff, but uh, this was a little extreme and uh, I was quite pleased. So, uh, Kate, when you get a chance. Hey, everybody. Big Todd. Well, first, first and foremost, uh, look what I found. Um, we're moving this week, yay. And so as I'm going through um, a bunch of brother stuff, uh, I found one of our old camel, or uh, camo versions, not camel, camo versions. And so uh, we actually came out with these about five years ago and uh, still works like a champ. So anyway, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up printing a couple labels. Um, I'm gonna affix them in several different areas of the vehicle and then we're gonna run it through a couple of tests so first and foremost i'm gonna print off the first one ready why don't you come on over here a little bit zoom on in so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna peel this guy all right and let's put it oh i don't know let's put it right about there all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print a smaller one and I don't want one that's four inches, so let's do, uh, oh, I don't know, let's do two inches on this one. So you can see it's the same label, just a little bit smaller. So come on over here, all right? We're gonna go to this end, look at that. All right, right on the old tailpipe. So I put it, I got a date on there right now, obviously. And we'll come back from time to time. We're gonna check that out. So. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, let's get on the road. Um, we'll find a spot to, you know, to, to put these labels to the test there. So um, come on, let's go. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go find somewhere to put this to the test. And uh, you guys saw it before, I put one on the back of the window. I got one on the tailpipe. The engine's running. Well, we'll see how that one on the tailpipe does, but uh, Come on, let's uh, let's go find somewhere. 
Now, beautiful day in uh, Southern California, and uh, I know that uh, I know that there's the, the snow stuff or snow stuff. Snow stuff. The snow stuff. Snow stuff. Snow stuff. And hopefully, we don't have to go too far. Snow stuff. Ah, looky there. You got a car wash. You know what? Let's try it right over there. Now, if you notice, you got some brushes too. So this kind of ties into an episode I did a couple of weeks ago uh, where I'm scrubbing the hell out of these labels. All right, here we go. I always worry about my mirrors in these things. And here's why. Boom. Hey, you know what? I probably... I probably should have put that label right back there, uh, but I wasn't thinking, and I put it behind the uh, passenger headrest back there. But once we're done with this, I'll get out, and because uh, I, I can't see what's going on with the label right now anyway. The truck is running. I do have the label on the tailpipe. Oop, here comes the big guy. Well, we'll see what happens. You know what? I got confidence. I got confidence that both labels are still going to be on. Um, and you know what? I, I may just leave them on for a while. We'll see how long these things last. Now, truck's still running, so I want to check that label on the tailpipe and uh, see what's going on with that. Oh, look at that. Huh? I, I got to tell you, I, I'm impressed. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever run their vehicle through a car wash. Now you got chemicals involved, you got detergents and soap and blah, blah, blah. Um, but you also had that, the brushes going, uh, and you had the water. But look at that. All right, let's go check that tailpipe. <laughs> you can see that car's running. So not only do we got heat going, we got water going, detergent, so forth and whatnot. So anyway, hey, I'm impressed. It takes a lot to impress me, but I'm impressed. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave these labels on for a while on both the tailpipe and here. And again, uh, we'll just see how long they last. So uh, I got part two of the test coming up real soon. So uh, we're gonna go back to uh, Casa de Wapo and um, we're gonna do another test here in a little bit. So I'll, I'll see you shortly. Hey, so welcome to test number two. Now we've already taken it through the car wash. And so one of the things I noticed when I was bringing in the trash cans is they're a little bit dirty. So what a better way to run a label test than to clean these things off a little bit. So let's go ahead and throw the label on there. Same label as I had on the, the vehicle, right? There we go. Now let's wash a trash can and then let's wash a label as well. So here we go. As you can see, I'll run it through there again, right? But we're still good to go. Label's not coming off. Let's run it a little bit more. Wow, look at that. All right, folks, as you can see, it's one tough label, all right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on the trash can. Again, kind of like what I did on, on the uh, tailpipe of the car in the window and uh, clearly dated and uh, we'll check back in from time to time but uh, thanks for joining bs with todd and uh, i hope to see you on the next episode so um 
again, from, from a water resiliency standpoint, I think that's an actual word, resiliency. Uh, it, it turned out very well. In future episodes, we're going to cover things like uh, heat. We're going to cover chemicals. Uh, we're going to cover cold. There's all sorts of stuff we're going to do with these labels. So um, again, very important to have a tough label for the environment that you're in. One of the things I did want to point out, though, is uh, the new labels, all right? And uh, just recently, uh, Schaefer Nelson, shout out to Schaefer Nelson up in the Pacific Northwest, got some of our self lamb labels specced into uh, Portland schools. So I want to thank them as well. Uh, the new labels, I want to go over them again real quick, is that uh, we do have the self lamb available. And again, the whole idea behind this self lamb is to protect the printing. Now, all the labels we have are going to have the type of resiliency that you saw today. So whether or not you're using a general label, if it's a flag, if it's a cable wrap, uh, it, it doesn't matter. Everything we have, except for our TZEN201 and our heat shrink, is going to be laminated. The reason why we did this self-lam is basically to fit inside those environments that have the self-lam there already. Uh, and they don't want to break suit. So um, with the new flag, again, you can see the old flag here. Um, these are now available and uh, for sale at your local distributor. So I wanted to point that out, but I wanted to make sure uh, to tell you that everything we still have, uh, even in the new offering, is going to be laminated and water resistant, heat resistant, caustic resistant, oil resistant, gas resistant, scratch resistant, scuff resistant, that I mentioned water. Um, and we are UL rated. So again, uh, check out. And if you have any questions on the new labels, uh, let me know. I appreciate you uh, every time uh, coming to check out this episode regarding labeling. Uh, please stay healthy out there. Uh, please stay safe out there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to one of us. So I appreciate it and uh, have a wonderful rest of the week.